is off. And Cooper steadies himself and knocks it brilliantly over the bar. He's got a goal and three now. And Kerry and their fans will feel they're within touching distance of victory in the All-Ireland. 110 to nine points. Daniel Bohan has come in. As we watch that again, that's a lovely score by Cooper. Bohan is on, number 17 there for Owen Brosnan. So Kerry's turn to freshen up proceedings. And they must be looking confident. Might have had problems earlier on, Jack O'Connor, but uh, right now it's going nicely for them. But a goal for Dublin would unsettle all of that. It's a free kick, Keanu O'Sullivan. Under seven minutes to go. Alan Brogan sent in. McManaman and dodging. McManaman is scoring! There's a point between the teams, and Kevin McManaman has kicked a beauty and sent Dublin fans into raptures. 64 minutes on the clock. Beautiful pass, wonderful work, precision here by McMenamin. He made a difference in the semi-final, and when he took the pass from Brogan here, he's made a difference in the final itself, rounding Declan O'Sullivan and beating Brendan Keeley. 1-10 to 1-9. It yeah. ain't over yet. Wonderful conviction that time from the uh, must be said from Kevin McMenamin. What a bad mistake further out the field by Declan O'Sullivan, who conceded possession far too easily. Now who's gonna win the All-Ireland? Tom O'Sullivan and De Anthony Marr in the end from that pass from O'Sullivan. Down went Michael Dara McCauley, free to Dublin, and now they come looking for the equaliser at the very least. David Connolly, 45 minutes out, he's got a loose player on the side. Kevin Nolan hitting one, and it's over! They're level! Kevin Nolan, his first ever point in championship football has lit up Croke Park and in the 65th minute as he kicked it from 35 metres out straight between the posts he's made it Dublin 110, Kerry 110 and the teams are level for the fifth time Well you just have to salute the character of the Dublin team they looked on and out for a couple of moments but two mistakes, one from, from two very experienced players one Declan O'Sullivan, the other Tom O'Sullivan and gave two opportunities to Dublin and they took both with a plum. they're two great scores, now it's anybody's game What a final Tremendous entertainment provided by Dublin and Kerry, and this goal again has Croke Park humming. Wonderful score. And now it's Kerry's turn to try and come and reclaim the lead. Declan O'Sullivan. Trying to go by, stopped. Referee says play on. He does. Alan Brogan's after him. Still Declan O'Sullivan, back as far as Killian Young. Further back to Tom O'Sullivan. Kerry will have felt that they almost had this match won. There were four points ahead. Seven minutes to go. Now back at level pegging. They've got a free kick. Owen O'Gara committed the foul on Anthony Marr. Paul Galvin with ball in hand. Now will they kick it long? Will they try and somehow create a scoring opportunity nearer to goal? Galvin the architect. Oh, it's beautifully done by Barry John Keane, used his ball, body to shield the uh, ball from the opponent, and Kerry have it. Tomoso Shea slipped in as far as Darren O'Sullivan, hasn't scored, but my goodness how he's played. Barry John Keane giving it back to Darren. It's further back as far as Galvin. Tomoso Shea, second shaved off the clock, four minutes left, huge ball outside towards Killian Young, back again towards Cooper, the captain, trying to take on Fitzsimons, down he went, referee doesn't whistle, it's still Cooper, challenged this time by Alan Brogan, back further towards Anthony Marr, team's level, inside it goes towards Barry John Keane, trying to slip inside his marker, falling down, Connolly's after him, lost discipline, ball turned over, given as far as Kevin McManaman, and McManaman 45 minutes to his own goal, back towards Chair Brennan, and now Dublin's turn to hold possession, and try to steal that ball forward, McManaman again, Keane forward, Sheehan's after him, on it goes towards Owen O'Gara, drops it, slipped back inside again towards the captain, Brian Cullen, forward once again beyond Bernard Brogan, 
Goalkeepers come out. Keeley opting to kick it forward, and they try to keep it in play over there. Don't succeed. In spite of the best attempts over there of Killian Young, the 24-year-old from Renard. 68 minutes on the clock. Dermot Connolly, it's going to be a late winner if there's going to be a winner today. Connolly advancing for Dublin. Hill roaring him on. Still Connolly dished into Michael Darrow McCauley. Very awkward angle. Holding, trying to make a better angle. Comes back towards Bernard Brogan. He's nailed it! What a kick by Bernard Brogan! It's his sixth of the match. What a time to go into the lead. Look at the clock. 69 minutes are gone. It's Dublin 111. Kerry 110. Kick outs taken quickly. Dublin with it again. Kevin Nolan. Back as far as Kevin McMenamin. McMenamin holding. It's a time for cool hearts and cool nerves at this stage. Dublin by one. McMenamin again. What a game he's played since being introduced. Alan Brogan back to Nolan, he scored one, lays one off to Darren McCauley this time, going for another one, it's high, it's up there, and the umpire said no, 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 wide. Well, that was a wonderful opportunity to put two between them, just coming into the last minute, but Dublin have really got so much energy, so much uh, in, over the last couple of moments from that, those couple of scores, and look the more likely team at this stage. Killian Young kicking it across to Mark O'Shea, now there's a lot of ground to make up to get it towards the Dublin goal, and Kerry are coming looking for the equaliser. Tomas O'Shea, Paul Galvin, Kerry still look menacing. Brian Sheehan swiftly out there, on towards the substitute, Daniel Bohan. To Donaghy, high up into the cloud. Gooch is in there, doesn't need the Gooch, it's gone over! It's a remarkable point by Kieran Donaghy. He's kicked his second, he's kicked the team's level. Are we heading for a replay for the first time in 11 years? Two minutes of additional time to be played. 111 to 111. Well, you have to credit Kieran Donaghy that time. Talk about courage, talk about bravery and character to take on that shot, never mind score it. Fair juice to him. If there's a replay, it'll be in two weeks' time, we believe. It's 111 to 111. Oh! Ger Brennan was given a free kick and he's now knocked Donaghy out of the way and the free kick is going to be cancelled. And that kind of silliness will annoy Pat Gilroy and the management team, and correctly so. 15 seconds nearly into stoppage time, at the beginning of two minutes of it, and the game there to be won. Well, that's stupid, it must be said, to lose the opportunity of going up and winning, uh, just getting the winning score. Back come Dublin again, Alan Brogan, McMenamin. Is there a winner? Who's going to get it? Will it be today? McCauley, on as far as Connolly, stopped in his tracks by Aidan O'Mahony. Still Dermot Connolly. Kerry back defending, McMenamin attacking, and he's tripped, and it's a free in. A free kick to win the All-Ireland. And they're going to bring up their goalkeeper, Stephen Cluxton, to see if he can put this one over the bar and win the title for Dublin for the first time since 1995. What drama in Croke Park. Well, it's extraordinary in her scene set before, and they took and met, talked about Stephen Cluxton, talked about his importance to the Dublin team, and talked about his ability to accurately, accurately kick frees from distance. Now he has the most you know, important kick of his career for Dublin, for the supporters. Let's see, can he hold his nerves? Stephen Cluxton, the fans try to hold their nerves in his 55th championship match. 15 points in his career so far. He's already got one today. The distance with the angle about 45 metres. Here he comes to win the All-Ireland. Cluxton, he's put it over! Cluxton the hero, and the two minutes of added time has been played, and we now wait for the referee's whistle. Referee looks at his watch. Kerry, it's all over. Dublin have won the All-Ireland. The most dramatic, the most wonderful of finishes. Kerry beaten. Dublin, triumph. What a triumph. It's Stephen Cluxton who's done it. 
as Dublin end a long barren spell of some 16 years and a first win in the final since 1995. They all go to Pat Gilroy, sheer disappointment for all of the Kerry players, but the Sam Maguire Cup will be staying at the capital at least for the next 12 months. It's been an outstanding victory for Pat Gilroy and his squad as Dublin beat Kerry in an All-Ireland final for the first time in 35 years. They all want to share in it. Eamon Fennell and the rest of the players have contributed throughout the season. You think back to two years ago, think back to the August Bank Holiday Monday. It was the quarter-final of the championship and Dublin were fancied to win after retaining the Leinster title. And all those Dublin fans came to Croke Park and they were crushed, they were humbled in Pat Gilroy's first year as manager. Remember that? Crushed by Kerry to the tune of 17 points. Gilroy talked about callow youths resembling startled earwigs. Well, they have been transformed. He's done the transforming and he's transformed them into champions. John Costello, the CEO of Dublin, the fans on the hill celebrating because Dublin are winners. Winners at last, winners of the All-Ireland of 2011 and the number 13 on the back of the captain for Kerry proves once again to be too much. It's something of a hoodoo. Sam Maguire is staying in the capital, Martin. Yes, and once again, it just shows that raw belief, sheer belief can beat experience on any day. And you've got to take your hats off to Mickey Whelan, Pat Gilroy and David Mickey for the belief that they infuse in these players. It's been a long 16 years, but it's been a vindication of their management style. They look for players who were honest, who were, who were hard-working, and their displays have been underpinned by a realism where that style that their forwards had in the past certainly could stay there but it had to be combined with a hard-nosed defensive system that could complement that flair and imagination today they took the opportunities at the end when Kerry presented them to them they identified areas of weakness on the, double, on the Kerry team and the pick players to do the job and they executed their game plan to perfection. The Hill has heroes once again and congratulations to Dublin. Well, Kerry did not score since the 63rd minute and, uh, well, they... Dublin fans just celebrating again and again and again and fans all over the world will celebrate this. Dermot Wing, for instance, is watching in Perth. He's a Dublin fan. Bet he's enjoying himself right now. And Kira and Michael, who are watching this match in uh, Missouri and Miami. There, Kira and Michael Stack. And there's Michael Kenny in Chicago as well watching. So broken-hearted Dublin fans. Well, wherever you are watching all around the world, whether it's in New Zealand at the World Cup, whether it's anywhere around the globe, I hope you've enjoyed the drama because what a final it has turned out to be. Yes, and the prestige and the currency that goes with beating Kerry is the greatest, I think, that Dublin could have had. Final score at Croke Park in the All-Ireland Final, Dublin 1-12, Kerry 1-11. Your commentators today, Ger Canning and Martin Carney, Colm O'Rourke, Pat Spillane and Joe Brawley here with me in studio. Colm O'Rourke, that was as dramatic an All-Ireland final as I've seen. Yes, that was drama heaped upon drama. Yes, it was the most amazing game and uh, Dublin have won, but Kerry will ask themselves how they lost. They had the game under control with uh, 15 minutes to go, four points up. Seven control minutes to go controlling the whole midfield play, controlling the flow of the game, and then Kevin McManaman, who came on and more or less won the game for Dublin against Donegal, he's done yeah. so again. Yeah. He lifted them, and of course, in many ways, it was fitting that Cluxton would kick the winning point because against Donegal, when Dublin were struggling, he worked the article again. But it was a brilliant game, and of course, Pat would be disappointed, and Kerry would be disappointed.